um, welcome back to my channel my dear viewers um, if you are new viewers if you are new viewers sorry please kindly check below click the subscribe button you see below and also click on the bell sign so as to see um, every new video I post um, as I always say lately testnet has been the talk of the day I just came across a new testnet as well now and I went through their discord I see how hard working the dev has been and I believe they've actually closed the, the testnet earlier before now but it seems due to the movement of the um, around uh, network I think there was some glitch which stopped their bot from recording some of the um, wallets that actually run their uh, airdrops so now they are giving another opportunity for everyone to also try to run the testnet again so once you run the testnet now you automatically be qualified for the airdrop so I actually um, asked the developer himself, I actually asked the admin himself directly, I can show you the chat here uh, on Discord, this is it, this is where I asked the, this is where I asked, this was my question and that is his answer, you can see, I asked him please for we that we do testnets, where are we, where are we to drop our address, so he responded, he said you just do the testnet, your address will be recorded recorded by our system system bro so that means automatically your address will be recorded automatically so um let's 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 now go let's go through so how to go about the airdrop now so i have the links needed here i'll also drop the i'll drop all the links for you including the testnet um link in the video description and there are those that don't know how to find a uh, video description they always come to the end to ask oh i don't know how to find i would just ask me in the comment section i'll still drop the um, link for you in the comment section as well if you want me to so now the first thing we need to do is we need to cl uh, claim um error faucet our, as we all uh, the token faucet as we always do that's to get the free token for uh, uh, testnet and i'll be using chrome browser and this is the site well let me use the let me get the faucet first I'll click on this then i'll copy my l round address yep l round address let me go to my l round app don't mind me i have like three i cloned my l round so you'll be seeing different wallets so you can see here i have two maya wallet here so i'm clicking this one i'm using this one first later i'll be running the second one as well because i have like four different wallets i cloned them so that's why i told you it's always good to do multiple to run multiple wallets because when you once you run one if it doesn't qualify one might be lucky maybe if you run four <coughs> might be lucky the four will be qualified it will, will get the airdrop two might get one might get at least you should get one so that's the basics for that so what am i actually astral forces so we can you can use it to claim any let's let's claim i'm not claiming usdc they didn't really make that clear but let's go for usdc let me go for usdc let me go for usdc and see usdc yes this is not working there's something wrong okay i think it was a network says unable to locate this transaction ash let me go back let me click on usdc okay i actually use usdc right now okay it says status is pending i used usdc yeah now it's successful so they they must have given me usdc now so what next let me see the amount okay i got 1000 usdc this is it here 1000 USDC was sent to me so now i need to go to the main site of this project which is this testnet.ashwap.io so now i'll go to the site on the same chrome you can use the same page you can use you can go to the next anyone you prefer so now paste make sure you are using a phone that has your wallet on it so because you have to connect your wallet because you there's no way you can access your 
the test net you got without connecting to your wallet so now i need to connect to the wallet which i use to claim to claim this test net now so i i know the wallet i have two wallet but i know which one i use actually so you click on connect wallet my mobile app i'm using mobile app i'm not using the web i'm using mobile app then i'll connect if i if i'm using two phones i can just decide to scan and this the qr uh, qr code or oh, i'm not using that i'll just connect manually it will bring the uh, uh, this is the wallet i use this is what i use so that's what i'll be using i'll click on that to ask me to connect my wallet approve i always tell you that anytime you are running anything for my wallet once you approve transaction and it shows you this page don't close it go back just go to the um sites yes this is it so now we claimed usdc yes so we should be having 1000 you can see we have 1000 usdc this is it 1000 usdc so let's just swap into something you can swap into any token just do any swap you can swap into anything okay like what let me even see the variety of tokens they have okay this is this is the supported pairs they have here this is everything they have on the swap they don't really have their own token per se so let me click usdt so let me just swap let me swap usdc let me swap 200 or let me swap just 100 this will give me 99 usdt swap we we'll click on swap now could it be network we'll click in Is there something on their site? Okay, let me refresh this, refresh the page and see if the problem is from the page or the network. Okay, I think it's the page because this just work, just reload. So now let me try to convert to WUSDC. Then let's see if it will work. Hundred swap. okay let me change slippage slippage tolerance always always take note of slippage sometimes it might be slippage so let's go to settings let me change slippage to 10 percent maybe there's price impact confirm we confirm confirm slippage 10 percent you can see the slippage has changed to 10 percent so let me click on swap now let's see if it works It's actually still not working. Let's look for yeah. Let me go back to USDT and see if USDT works. It's not working as well. So let me go to their pool and see. Let's go to their pool. At least we should just make sure we will try one transaction. That is the most important thing for you to qualify so that it will automatically show on their system that yes so so person has made a transaction on your uh, platform on their platform so now let's use this this is their pool i click on usdc and usdt deposit okay here we need to deposit both usdc and usdt because it's a it's a do okay okay let me go back let, let's let me try to claim let me try to claim usdt as well so that we'll have both usdc and usdt i just hope they accept double claiming it would be nice if they do that not the one that they will be asking us to wait for another 24 hours it won't be funny so let me use um okay this is this is still on this is still my address it's still there let me claim usdt let's claim usdt and see if it works yeah we've gotten usdt as well so let me go back to the page now this is the page this is it so you can see we have both usdc and usdt so now i'll say verify so i want to deposit now i've verified deposit 
Oh, sorry. What is wrong? Their site is so, so s slow. Let me refresh the page. Let me go back. Like it's not up yet. Well, let me give it another try. Okay, hey, now it's showing the amount. Let me use 100 USDC and 100. Yeah, so that's 200. Then I'll click verify and click deposit. The deposit is not working as well. What's wrong? I think something is wrong with your site. I think something is wrong somewhere. So let me retry the swap once again. Let me retry. Let me refresh and retry. Well, I think I, I I get what exactly is the issue now. So let me disconnect this wallet. Disconnect wallet. Let me then reconnect. I'll show you guys what is the issue now so that we can when, when you are running the swap as well you can now discover what exactly the issue is you see just take notes this is it I'm connecting to the same wallet I use approve as I said just leave this place as it is don't close I think that was where my error was then that it's good so that it's good for everyone to see if they are making the same mistake they will know where it's coming from and click let me, let's assume I'm moving 200 then I'll click on swap as you can see I've clicked on swap then I'll now go to my wallet I think you can see I was supposed to sign the transaction on my wallet but it didn't pop up notification that I was supposed to sign so I just discovered now I was supposed to sign transaction sign before it to now work so you see it actually work so you can see the swap the swap is now successful. You can see the balance for USDC now is 800. You can check transaction details here if you want. That's to check transaction history. You can check here. So let's click and see if we have. Uh, okay, it's not showing yet. But it has actually gone through, but it's not showing the transaction history yet. But since you can see that the swap has worked. Maybe it's because the test net is not perfectly done yet because uh, I actually charged the dev. He told me they are still working on some things. But the most important thing is we should know that we've participated already and our wallet is already qualified for the airdrop. That's what is the most important thing. So I've we've done the swap. We've done the swap. So let's go for I think it's the same issue that is wrong with the uh with the liquidity as well. Then you click on pool. Pool let's click on pool we have usdt and usdc let's click deposit make sure that your maya wallet is still open don't don't close it and let's use 100 i'm using 100 which means 100 usdc 100 usdt which makes it 200 and let's click verify deposit then let me go to my wallet to sign transaction again so i'm signing the transaction now so imagine it's something so simple a small mistake can just keep you waiting so that was what happened so i'm signing transaction now so transaction has been signed and as we come here we've added um we've added lp so we've added lp as well so that means we made we made this deposit too so you can see now the balance of USDC is just um, 700 left from initial um, 1,000. So, so those are the that that's what we need to do. So now you can see my pool now. Your pools, the pool I actually created, which is this. This is it. You can see it's the only one showing because that's the only one we tried USDC and USDT. You can see it's showing under. We added LP to the pool, so you can all see now. That's what we just um, need to do. That's my liquidity that I added. So now everything is set. We've done stake and we've done the farming. So 
I think we are good to go now. So thank you very much for watching my video. God bless you. God bless you as you watch and share with friends and family. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also turn on notification for subsequent video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.